Hi guys, trust you're all doing well. Um, I'm back. It's um, good to see all of you here once again. And before we move any further, I'm asking you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are trying to get out there to all South Africans, all graduates, all unemployed candidates. I'm trying to get, get them enthous enthusiastic and looking forward to um, what's, what's to come. Um, also, if you ring the bell, you'll get all our notifications of any videos, upcoming videos. Um, we put helpful information out there for all our candidates, clients, students, um, to helping you to find employment. Today's video is actually based on your CV. We have spoken about this in the past. And it's actually become um, something where we're getting a lot of clients coming in asking us for more information on how to assist them in CV preparation. We do also help... Um, candidates and clients in preparing their CVs. This, however, is um, an example of a CV to help you when you create your own CV. Or if you do um, have a CV, try and spruce it up, get some color in there, get your photo in there, um, get more information in there. This is just an, a basic template or a basic way of helping you with your CV. A lot of candidates and clients do not know that when you apply for a position through to a recruitment company, your CV is your first step in the door. And if you have an attractive CV, that is already um, a good point that's added on you because it shows that you are uh, that you are career driven, that you're interested in your career, that you're actually look, looking forward to the position you're applying for. If you go in there with a boring black and white CV, unclear, a photocopy of a photocopy, etc., obviously your recruits will look at you as if that, like you're not interested in what you're going there for. So, guys... I urge you, when you're going for your interview, ensure that you do have a good CV, or even before you apply for the position, make sure that your CV is up to scratch, okay? In this case, this is a CV example that I want to show you guys. If you have a look, it's a simple template. Um, what we've done is we've inserted a photo on here, and we've made a border around that photo as well, okay? And we've made different sections, and we've colored them in, with, if you have a look here, okay? What's important on your CV to have noted is that there are different sections that hold vital importance for your recruiter, okay, and what they're going to look at, okay. So make sure that you are very honest and all the information is displayed correctly, okay. Ensure that you have a proper residential address on there so they know which, which area you're living in, which area you're looking for a position in, etc. Uh, correct contact details, ensure that your telephone number is correct and a proper email address. In some cases, a recruiter might want to email you specific information. Ensure that you do have your correct email address on there. Okay. Then you'll also state all your personal information on the top. If you have a look, it will ask you your date of birth, nationality, marital status, gender, etc. Okay. Now, what I'd like to also show you is when you come down to your work experience or your professional work experience, okay, um, here you can also just type in the beginning professional work experience, doesn't necessarily have to be work experience, you can type in employment history, career history, in this case we've stated work experience, you should have your company name that you worked for as well as the position that you are in. Don't just put the company name because your recruiter will not know what actual position you held at that company. So ensure that you put the company name and the position you held clearly on there, okay? As well as with how, uh, during which period or for how long. Also give a small work description or performance area. It doesn't necessarily have to be lengthy. Just give a brief description of what you currently, what you did in that position. If you do have a lengthy work description, then you can also insert it there as well. Okay, and that goes for all the positions that you worked in. Um, so whether it be whatever the case may be, in this case we've also had Sunday school mentor, whatever the case is, if you had a, it, whether it's volunteer work, it was for a charity, etc., you can insert there. It shows that you do have certain work experience. Okay, you've got an objective on your left hand side. If you have a look, that will just give your recruiter. Um, a broader insight on what it is, why you are applying, or what the objective of your application is, why are you submitting an application for that position. Um, so do give them an objective. It can be in your own words, um, stating why you think you are suitable for the position and why you are applying for that specific position. Okay, giving reason behind it. That is what the objective is, giving reason behind your application. Um, you've got an About Me section as well. You can give them a brief description of the type of person you are, um, 
the professional type of person you are or what type of um, how you get along your leadership skills your attributes etc you can put a brief description in there about the type of person that you are okay and why you feel that you are suitable for the position references as well if you do have references you can insert them there um, you can also put in character references in some cases if you are still a student or a graduate and you don't have any references you can use character references okay bringing us to the point if you're a student a grade 11 a grade 12 pupil or are still uh, uh, studying during your studies and you ha don't have any work experience what you could do under your employment work experience or employment history in this section you could move your academic your educational qualifications and you can place that instead of work experience okay stating that you are looking for an internship or that you are looking to further develop yourself within an organization as you do not have that much work experience etc and that you can state under the about me section giving a brief description of yourself and what you've done and what you're actually looking for as well as under your objective you can state something in that effect there as well stating that you are looking for a position um, that will help you grow further and develop yourself within a well-established organization etc okay um, with regards to that so if you do not have any employment history or work experience then you can put your education first if you do have slight work experience then you can put it where it is at the moment then you have your references following then you'll have any awards achievements or recognition a lot of graduates high school leavers grade 12s grade 11s you do have some sort of academic qualification or, or um, achievement or award or some recognition that you've be had while, whilst you were in school it is good to have that inserted here whether you're a mentor a, a, a a representative of some sort a committee member insert that here as that will hold a lot of strength to show the type of person that you are and the type of leadership qualities that you have in this case we've just stated chosen as a mentor for high school a member of the grade 11 committee that's also something good to do whenever you are a member of something it shows that you have that that ability to connect and to be with other people okay it shows there's a type of diversity that you have as an individual in that case um, a lot of students in grade 11 join a, com a, a committee at that stage uh, due to the grade 12 metric balls etc they do at one stage in their lives are a member of some sort of committee during high school it's important that you state it on there if you've taken part in any sport whether it be soccer hockey volleyball netball etc state it on there State the team that you are were in if you were in first team second team state the time etc on there if you had any certificates or awards during your awards day whether it be for technical drawing or it could be for life orientation or computer literacy etc state it on there okay it shows the comp your competency levels okay further down if you move on to your next page we have at the top of it you'll see your key competencies and deliverables okay this could be your um, what you feel that, you, that it's broken down individually or to the type of person that you are okay and what you what what we can expect as a recruiter what we can expect from you okay if you have a look here at point number one a highly driven and motivated individual with strong personal presence and integrity that's something very good to state communication that's point number two is communication and presentation skills leadership and organization skills okay point number three independent thinker with the zest to learn new things and interact well with different groups and our last point is assertive resilient and consultative okay so those are quite appealing traits if you have if you just uh, briefly go through them okay um, what we've also stated now if you have a look here then you come down to your educational qualifications as i mentioned earlier in this video if your qualifications um, i mean sorry if you do not have any work experience then your educational qualifications can take the place of your employment history so this can move to the first uh, part of the cv okay and on here you just state the school that you are currently in if you are still in school or the university that you're currently in if you're still in university your modules or your subjects or your majors that you're currently completing if you are part of any um, 
any committee, if you're a member of any organization, if you're completing any anything, then you just state it on there underneath your school as well, okay? And you can put in your primary schools or your grade R school, whatever the case may be. Then you have your training and courses. If you've gone for any training or courses during your career or during school or university, you can insert it there. And your synopsis. This is a summary. This is the ending of your CV. That is of vital importance. This rounds up the entire CV, giving your recruiter a, a stronger point of view of where you're coming from and what you are looking for. Okay. So this needs to be um, more on a personal level with your recruiter, explain to them or giving letting them understand the type of candidate you are and what you are looking for and the reasoning behind your application. Okay, so this is your last point of contact and this is the best way to sell yourself to ensure that you get this position. Do some reach research. Go on the internet, do some research, get some brief descriptions, get some, some motivational sentences, etc. and you can insert it there to sell yourself for the position that you're applying for. Okay, in there we'll also have the reason you're applying for the position, um, what type of person you are, skills, everything is summarized in there at the ending. And you would thank your recruiter for viewing your CV and trust they're finding it suitable for the employment or for the position you're applying for. And you can also say that you're, you, you are awaiting their response or you hope to hear back from them soon, etc. That would be on the ending of the CV. On this page on your left hand side, if you have a look, we've inserted keys, um, sorry, we've inserted area, areas of expertise and key skills. Okay, in this case, you might not have a lot of areas of expertise or key skills, etc. So here you can state attributes. Okay, attributes is also qualities, your personal qualities or your professional qualities. And that's what you can state in here. And you can just give the brief uh, various descriptions or you can state area of areas of expertise and key skills. This is if you are good in something or if you excelled in something, then you can have it stated under here. Uh, just for a quick example, we've got effective communication skills, time management, um, commitment and dedication, risk management, sales and customer service, presentation skills. Um, okay, you can just go through um, um, that. That's just something that we've created for each of our candidates. However, as I said, you can state what your skills are because you do know what you are good at and what your strengths are. If you are unable, guys, if you are unable to interpret what you mean or what you are saying, um, go, do some research on the internet, go into different sites, figure out what you'd like to insert in your CV, find ways of interpreting it better because Remember, your CV needs to be professional as possible. If your wording is incorrect and if you are, do not sound professional in your CV, you will not be guaranteed that position. So ensure that you do know what you are saying and that your wording and grammar is correct and that everything comes across clearly and precise to your recruiter. Uh, just so that your recruiter knows that this is an educated candidate that's applying for this position and that they would give you that chance um, to go for a shortlisting so that you can uh, push forward. So guys, please do some research before you just apply for positions or before you just jump in there. Get your CV sorted 100% for that position and make sure that your wording is correct, your spelling is correct and everything is in order. Guys, I guarantee that if you follow this video and if you follow what I'm telling you now, you will be shortlisted for the next position you apply for. I hope that you all um, were interested or find it, found it very helpful. Um, you're more than welcome to email me as well um, if you need any assistance or further information, etc. Our website is uh, www.experienceplacements.co.za if you need any further information. Uh, but guys, I hope to hear from you soon. Uh, place your comments at the bottom of the screen. Please subscribe and hit the bell for our new videos and notifications. I ensure you and I guarantee you that all our videos do help each and every one of you candidates and clients out there. Good luck to all your gradu graduates um, and best wishes for all the grade 12s. I'm going to trick finishing um, a trick this year and hopefully that this video is also going to help you guys once you go out there and look for position, uh, look for either positions or if you're going to study, um, hopefully this will be a stepping stone for you as well. Thanks guys, enjoy your day.